Don't Tell Me My Business Media presents Vince, Chris, and John give you all the latest reviews, discussions, and news for film, television, music, books, and games, and more. Hello, everybody. My name is Vince George with Don't Tell Me My Business Media. Uh, some people are wondering why I even started this in the first place. What is Don't Tell Me My Business Media all about? Uh, well, I'm going to spend some time just talking about it, letting you know what's going on and, and what to expect from us in the future. Uh, so you have a better idea and, you know, possibly get interested in this. So uh, without further ado, let me let me get into my history a little bit and why I wanted to start this. Uh, media is a passion of mine. Uh, all forms of media, whether it's movies, television, games, uh, books, music, you name it, I love it. I like to consume it. I like to talk about it. I like to discuss it. Uh, I like to review it, as you've seen. Um, a lot of this started off uh, back in high school when I was part of WNAS Radio. It was a high school radio station, 88.1, uh, but it was quite large. It's the first high school radio station uh, in America. Uh, so sophisticated. It was, it was a real thing. And what I really enjoyed doing more than the music was the actual DJing part of it. Um, talking on the air uh and maybe pushing the limits a little bit i clearly clearly remember a time where a friend and i went to one of those places in the mall where you can uh basically record karaoke for a song uh we did kokomo and i hate myself for loving you and one of the first things we did was go back to the radio studio uh at school and play it over the air uh it did not go over very well uh but it was us doing kind of like shock jock things in a high school radio station. And it really got me uh, to catch the, the bug. Because one of the other things I like is, is comedy and humor. And we thought it was pretty funny. And it was worth getting in trouble for, I gotta say. And so that love of, of the media and doing the DJ and the comedy, it led to me going to Ball State University. And I was going for a communications degree. Now, as many things go in life, it did not go as planned, and I did not stick with that. Um, things went more towards business, started working for the bank and doing banking and, and some other things, eventually joined the Navy, and kind of lost sight of, you know, something I really had a passion for. So this is me trying to kind of get back there a little bit. I figure things like podcasts and, and doing reviews and talking about movies is kind of close to what I was doing back then that kind of spurred on that passion. Um, another person I wanted to bring into this definitely was uh, a good friend for almost 25 years now, Chris Herndon. And what he brought to the table, we've seen hundreds of movies together. I mean, probably in the upper hundreds. I mean, we've seen a lot of movies. And we like to watch those movies, and we always discuss those movies, discuss them in detail. Um, we considered ourselves pretty knowledgeable. We used to sit around and quiz each other off the Leonard Maltin book. If you remember, it was a huge, thick book about movies. It was IMDb before there was IMDb. Uh, we were starting at a time where there wasn't an internet, so these type of books was all you had for that kind of movie trivia. So, you know, he shares that passion. Uh, he also currently has a creative outlet that I don't have. He, he plays in a band, the Steel Fins. They do quite well. Uh, they're great if you haven't heard them, if you're here locally in Louisville. Uh, if you're not, we, we plan on distributing some of their stuff later. They have their own thing, and, you know, let them work that out. But he's got that creative outlet that I don't have, and I need that. I think a lot of people need that. Anytime I've reached out to anyone so far about kind of joining us and contributing, uh, they all seem for it, you know. Uh, people want a creative outlet. People want to talk about things. People have a passion. And I'm trying to reel that some of it in and, and structure it. And that's what I've started to do. Uh, I've also brought in John uh, Dandroll, if you've uh, seen him around and heard him on the last podcast and seen his reviews. Uh, he's been a friend for about eight years. Uh, we actually met online playing a game. It wasn't Warcraft. 
I know you think it is, but it wasn't Warcraft. It was something else. We won't get into what it was, but I met him and his wife. They're great people, and I found that they're very like-minded, uh, especially John. And I know he can sit down and he can discuss the same things that we're discussing. He's got the same type of insights and humor. So I thought he would be a valuable member to the team to bring in, and so I brought him on board. Um, things we're doing right now, we're starting very simple. We're doing things like the reviews. Uh, we're going to do some podcasts. Uh, you're going to see a little bit more uh, and more as time goes on. Because what we really like to do is more types of media. We actually like to do scripts, screenplays. We'd like to make entertaining videos that people can watch. We want to do more interviews. And we actually want to go, go out in public and do some live shows as well. Once we get some... Uh, podcasts are on our belt and we feel comfortable and we think that we have good material we want to go out and talk about it we want to do some trivia with people maybe in a restaurant or a bar uh, we want to have a lot more guests we want to bring in guests to contribute we want to talk to them on our podcast and uh, we just want to bring other people in because like I said they need a creative outlet we want to give it to them and we have a lot of great friends that have a lot of great things to say so we're looking forward to that now some people have wondered where did this name come from the don't tell me my business media well it goes way back uh, to the 90s uh, when the movie Truman was coming out you remember with uh, Jim Carrey and it was a movie that we decided we wanted to see Chris and I and you have to remember this was a time where there wasn't smartphones and you didn't have immediate internet access so Again, you know, we used to use that Leonard Malton book. Well, you know, I didn't have a handy. And for whatever reason, I had it in my head that Peter Weller had not only directed Truman, but he was also in it. So I not only mistook him for Peter Weir, but also Ed Harris. And I was 100% convinced of this because I, I believe I said, hey, you want to go see that new movie that's directed by RoboCop? And Chris was like, what, what the hell are you talking about, man? That is he didn't direct that i'm like yes he did i was like i, I know it I, you know and to me i'd sworn that i'd seen it in the paper or an interview you know it was close peter weir peter weller you know you get that mixed up and i certainly did and i was convinced 100 percent that uh peter weller was all over this movie and so we you know we argued about it a little bit and as strong-headed and bullheaded as i am i eventually said hey man don't tell me my business i know what's going on Peter Weller directed and is in this movie. And of course, we we once we got to some sources, we found I was completely wrong. I was I don't I don't know where I got that from, and but it came somewhat of a catchphrase of mine and was always a a joke of ours because I said that don't tell me my business, you know, like like I was part of the industry or something. Well, I'd like to be part of the industry. I think I think that would be pretty cool. And and so you know when we were thinking of names, you know, I thought that was kind of a name that that was uh, indicative of the kind of authorities we think we are on movies and, and other forms of media. So uh, I suggested it. It stuck. We had another name uh, originally, uh, Corduroy Media, but I found out that was taken. There's a long story behind Corduroy Media that I'm not going to get into because uh, there's some embarrassment there. So I'm not going to go there. But the don't tell me my business, uh, yeah, that was pretty embarrassing too because I was completely wrong. However, I can live with that because I like the name. So in closing, we have some exciting things coming down the road, and we want you to kind of stick around and, and see it and be a part of it. So watch our site. We'll continue to put things out, but hopefully the quality will improve and you'll see some great things down the road. Uh, but I appreciate if you've read anything so far and if you've visited, visited our site and uh, read the reviews and made any comments, thanks a lot. And we're hoping to get some more of that. So we appreciate it. Thanks. Goodbye.